as we are now. <laughs> but we know that. Um, are we going to be technically at Comic Con in this building? Yeah! <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I wanted to begin today by talking to you about pressures of being a comic con This job used to be easy. They just come down here, just do some ballroom, ask some panelists some easy questions. And then you just do the answers. <laughs> and then do what I really came down here to do, which was go to the side of party and flip up the girls' house. Woo! Woo! Not anymore. No, it's crazy now. Every single moderator, every single panel tries to help you every other panel. How am I going to compete with Edge and Joey? Woo! Better! I'm not. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay. We meet again. We do. Just want to say really quick, you have the, the necklace on. Oh, I do. Today, you have the it's true. Necklace. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll weasel some close shots of those for you. It's very dangerous. I'll get too close. Right? I won't. It'll, I'll blow up. I will blow up. So, what's your favorite location for this season? Um, we did a uh, an episode in Micronesia in... Uh, uh, an island that's now called Chuk, that used to be called Truck. Mm -hmm. It was an underwater episode uh, with a Japanese fleet from World War II, and I'm a dive nut, and, and uh, it's just some of the best wreck diving in the world, so for me that was uh, that was probably my number one spot. So. Yeah. We're also to Cambodia, and I know a Southeast Asian guy too, so okay. I love it there. Yesterday, when my Sarah did one of these things in the Captain America costume, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Yesterday, I published an article for moderators like me entitled How Not to Screw Up a Comic Con Game. This is true, and I intend to follow this document to the letter. First thing you have to do is make a big announcement that you got to drop a bombshell, right? Heaven forbid you do one of these panels and you don't make a big announcement. Your written office is failure. So I'm going to start today with a big announcement A man attacking an eye are lovers. <laughs> And what is the worst illness or injury that you personally have gotten? Uh, I think the worst illness I've had in the history of the show is this season, actually. Uh, uh oh. In, uh, in Micronesia as well, on a different island called Panape, uh, I got really, really ill. Uh oh. Uh, so a lot of vomiting. We've seen it on film, and I'm not sure if it's going to make air. <laughs> that has to make air. Come on now. It's pretty graphic. Pretty graphic. That's what it's about. You guys eat bull penis. You're telling me about like graphic stuff yeah, on the show. Yeah, I just, uh, I, um, I really got it. So yeah, we'll see how much of the viewers can stand here. Because of this very moment, there's a Green Lantern panel going on. I'm feeling particularly threatened by. I'd like to announce that Robin Dunn and I are lovers. <laughs> Um, so, a question that a lot of fans had, I even had it too, so I'll nag you about it. Why haven't you updated your personal website in a that long a, time? That's a great question. I, uh, <laughs> what I keep meaning to do is actually take it down because I want to hire a web firm to come in and do uh, sort of redesign of the whole thing. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. I want to be able to kind of make it a bit more a blog and be able to write from the road and post to it remotely and have it be more interactive while I'm traveling since travel is a big part of what I do. Mm -hmm. I don't have the ability to kind of self design that. So, yeah. um, stay Stay tuned. I'm going to try to get someone this summer to get into it and help me out with it. All right. But I appreciate the nagging. It needs, it needs to be done. I need to be nagging. Yeah, because everyone's like, it's the old sci fi logo. I know, it's, it's true. It's... Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? Um, 
for what? For coffee, I guess. For coffee, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go Starbucks for pastries. I know. I'm gonna go Dunkin' Donuts. So hard, I know. I do. I follow about. You know, I, probably, I don't think I use it to the best of its abilities. Oh, every time you reach out, I follow about. I think there are 40 or 30 or 40 people out there. I follow a lot of more. I've seen so many interesting people that are on it. Part of the problem with Twitter is you have to kind of like dedicate some time to really figuring out who's on it. You know, because the interface for it is not such that it really lends itself to discovering new people. Sometimes it does, but um, so I, I, I use it though here and there when I'm in the States. I'd like to use it more when I'm overseas, but it's difficult to interface with the States. But we're always looking for ways to be able to kind of update the fans in real time and do stuff from overseas. So we're going to look into ways to use it. Twitter. That's just a great app to say when you do the Q&A, yeah. you do the quiz thing. I think that was brilliant. Thanks. And if you did order that. You like it. Good, okay. And your new Twitter your new Twitter rumor is that Robin Dunn is your new secret boyfriend. That's not a rumor. I didn't get that on video. I was so mad. I was like, oh that was so You did good. Good job. Well, High thank, five. Thank you guys for coming. I really thank appreciate you. it. Right. Folks, thank you all very much for coming today. Really Some fans ask, what kind of car do you drive? That's sort of an embarrassing answer. I drive a Prius, which is I kind of I feel like works against character, right? Like I should have like some old. Yeah. I'll tell you what I want. I want an old. I want a, um, a Land Rover Defender. Right. They're kind of a pain to import. Yeah. The steering wheel's on the wrong side, and they may not be California emissions. But I'm trying to figure out a way to import a Defender, get rid of that Prius, and start wasting gas again. So let's review. You forgot your recorder on the table. Yes. Because you suck at life. No. Today you suck, suck at life. At electronics. Go get your recorder. <laughs> okay, you got it? Good. <laughs> right. Bye times two. She sucks at life. She left her recorder on the table. She almost left it here. You suck. You suck. Bye. He secretly did that to you. <laughs> to get behind it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was fun. All right. So the fans of Destination Truth, I really appreciate all your support. And uh, stay tuned for a great season ahead. Thank you. All right. Thank you.